going to see doctor now for the next appointment. Let's see where my weight's at. I don't know. I've been sick. I know I haven't done that great on my diet. I've tried, but I could have done better. Here we are back in Houston for my next follow-up with the doctor now, and we're gonna see how much weight I've lost. I'm a little worried because I got sick after camping, and I've been sick pretty much the whole month. So all I could do was rest in bed, and I couldn't really focus on what I needed to do for the program. So I made a little bit of progress, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Patrick? How are you? At my last appointment, I was down to 616, and Dr. Now told me to lose another 100 pounds over the last two months. Step up on the scale. So that would put me at 516. That's not good. We're gonna be going to room five. All right. Good Lord, that's not okay. What the heck happened with that? There's only one way this is gonna go with Dr. Now at this point, and it's not the way you daydream about. Hello, how are you all doing? Fine, you? I'm good, thank you. All right, good to see you all again. How was your trip down here? It was all right. Long drive, but it was good. Uh, how many hours did you have to drive? Mm, about 11. And one day or two days or what? No, we just drive straight here. Well, all that travel put a lot of strain on your body with your weight and your condition. So I don't think you should make that trip again because there is no point if you're not making the changes you need. Especially this time, it looked like you almost gained 30 pounds. So what happened? I've been sick. I had, I had like the flu, but that's really no excuse. So people have flu, they lose a lot of weight and yeah, they don't well. gain weight. No. <laughs> not me. Well, uh, <laughs> Make better story. Uh, no, I, I don't really have any excuses. I mean, I, 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 did what, I wasn't eating right. So what is your objective coming here if you just plan to keep doing whatever you want and making excuses and telling me you didn't follow the diet and you were sick and uh, my coming all the way to tell me that? I don't know. Uh, so what is your objective here? What do you expect that we can do for you? There's nothing about my weight that you can do for me. I mean, I need to show that I can lose the weight. And I can lose the weight. I just have to get off my own butt and do it. If you are coming here and you're clearly, you know, taking this seriously and think this is a joke, but there is no magic to save you. It's not gonna be me that saves you. It's not gonna be your wife or your daughter. Our magic is you and follow the instructions that we gave you. You don't wanna follow those and you want me to make you lose weight. I'm gonna go do the diet like I'm supposed to, eat like I'm supposed to. But you didn't do anything about it last six months. Okay, I'm tired of I'm tired of dealing with it. Whatever. You keep showing me that you're not serious about saving your life, Patrick. In six months, you should have been able to lose a whole lot more. And you got a lot of health issues. We need to check your heart, make sure that you're not having an engine up and see what's going on because your body is close to giving out. And this is all a result of overeating and not losing weight. You understand that? Yes, sir. How much you can do before you get that chest pain? It don't always just come up when I'm doing something. It may come up just out of the blue. So how often you get that? Every day. Every day, mostly in the afternoon? All right, let me get an EKG, see what's going on with your heart. 
All right. All right, Patrick, at this point, you need to figure out your life, and you're going to have to figure out what you're going to do from this point on. But at the meantime, I don't have an answer for you. You have to figure that out. So we get the updated blood work on you, see how bad you're dying. We don't need to do all that. You have no answers for it. Answer for what? You said you have no answers for it. Well. <laughs> well, what? We have answers for you, but you're not following those. And now you were coming in defensive, and uh, it's our fault that we're not doing anything for you? No, I didn't say it. So your what, what, what's your problem then? We're giving you the instruction, and you're blaming us that we're not no, doing anything for you? I'm not blaming for, for you. I never said you weren't doing anything. So, well, your diabetes because you're overeating. What, what problem with that you didn't understand the past six months you've been here? Okay. And so when I said we need some lab work for you, it's I'll give you lab do. work. I'll give you lab work. I'm just tired of listening to it. Do whatever you need to do to help. Well, Patrick, you got to get your life in order. You got to get your attitude in the right place. You got to make a decision in your life what to do, what not to do. That's true. And those things are something that you're going to have to figure out, right? That's right. Okay. So we're going to find a local clinic for you to go to in two months to see if you're actually losing weight. I'm going to give you an easier goal to only lose 80 pounds in two months and see if that will help you with Okay? All right. All right, any other questions? No. All right. All right, I'll be back and see you after your KG, okay? All right. All right. We're gonna get you back on track. Not with him. I won't be back here. Yes, you will. No, I won't. You just wants what's best for you and you get back on track and do what needs to be done. This he gives you a book and a piece of paper. That's it. Doctor Now's appointment didn't go very good. It, he wasn't happy because I gained some weight. I'm gonna go back home and hit the diet hard and come back and hopefully have lost some weight this time. It is unfortunate that Patrice continued this pattern of making excuses instead of taking responsibility. And in the condition he is in, there is no point in him continuing to come down here and put all that strain on his body traveling if this is all he's going to do. So we'll set up a local clinic to check his progress in a couple months. But if he hasn't started to show me he's going to get serious and do what he needs by then, then we won't be continuing with Patrick because it will be clear he doesn't intend to change.